Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Who is the Mole, Season 5, The After Show. I am Jeannie, still. Oh, I'm Spencer. I get to introduce myself this time. It's very hit or miss on whether I can. Yeah, so why don't you tell them what we're doing tonight then, Spencer? That's what your name is. <laughs> Whomst. Uh, well, we're just talking about the ninth round, aka the semifinals. Mm-hmm. of the most recent or of who is the mole season five yeah everyone word it yeah so this round we were down to just uh dexter jessica and victoria as the players and our mole amanda mm-hmm. um and going into the round we had just seen shandy be executed which i think was a big surprise for um a number of the cast um and also just a disappointment for people. Like, I know that that's part of it, too. Um, so going into the finals, uh, we're at a bit of an interesting point in terms of suspects. Would you say so, Spencer? <laughs> yes. Uh, it's very... Well, the, going into this round, it's like Victoria is the only like person that might switch things up. Um, Jessica is 100% in on Dexter, and Dexter is 100% in on Amanda, and it would take, I I don't know, I don't think there's anything in the world that could happen to get either of those two to switch from the suspicions that they have now, like, Mm -hmm. absolutely nothing. Someone could just admit in the chat to being the mole, and it wouldn't sway anybody, Mm -hmm. Uh, it wouldn't sway either of those two. Mm -hmm. But Victoria is much harder uh to figure out where she's going to go and that was kind of a lot of the pre-assignment stuff was us very closely following uh victoria (laughs) and the discussions that she was having to figure out oh is she going to figure it out is she going to be in position to maybe give dexter a run for his money and maybe be in a spot to steal uh first place or to steal the the winner's crown Mm -hmm. from him yeah, because what happened with Victoria is very quickly on in this round before we even had any assignments, like Dexter put into motion a plan to like get Victoria to suspect Jessica. Mm-hmm. So he started putting in a lot of work on that. But the interesting point is, thing is at that point, Victoria was absolutely up in the air of who she thought the mole was. Um, and on the prior quiz, wasn't it Dexter that she voted for? Yes, yeah, she named Dexter. So, she went from thinking Dexter is the mole, like him being her primary option, to then because of the way Dexter was talking to her, um, she started to think, oh, it's not him anymore. So she became torn between Jessica and Amanda, therefore getting closer to the actual truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's what was funny. And then there was um, a fun conversation that Jessica and Victoria had about suspects where uh, I think uh, Jessica was being kind of candid, but she wasn't didn't want to put too much focus on Dexter because that's who she thinks the mole is. So Jessica was at least kind of leaning into a bit that like, oh, isn't Amanda kind of suspicious too? Um, and so at least in the conversation from that, like they were both talking about some of the suspicious things Amanda had done. I think it was most notably what they had talked about was Jessica's perception of Amanda during the um, artist assignment uh, where they had, where it was just the two of them and they had to name the three actual art pieces. And Amanda didn't want to switch any of them and just take like the 2000. And Jessica thought that that was suspicious and was telling Victoria about that, you know, which was actually. Right read. Yes, which was a correct read. Mm-hmm. Like that was Amanda actually mulling, but Amanda, or, but Jessica thinks she's doing it to get Victoria on the wrong person. And Victoria is just kind of listening to it. Uh, so at least seems at least seems that going into this test that it, it she was either going to go for Jessica or Amanda on this quiz, maybe like maybe Dexter, but Dexter was the least likely person. Yeah. Um, but very much a she would know who she was going in on when she took the test. Yeah, this quiz in a lot of ways the most exciting part was what is Victoria gonna do because the other two we we really knew what was gonna happen there. Oh yeah. Yeah. So um, we did have two assignments this round. I think they were both fun ones. Um, Not super complicated, but um, do you want me to introduce the first one now, Spencer? Sure. 
Okay, so our first assignment we call just a series of unfortunate events. And it is one of the assignments that we had used last year for All Stars. So basically one person was chosen by the treasurer, so chosen by Dexter as having the best opinions. And he selected Jessica. So Jessica got to like be the main person in the assignment. So she was given a list of like 20 different statements, 20 different bad things that have happened to different players on Survivor, ranging anywhere from like having your cookie stolen at the Survivor auction, being called a dirt squirrel to, you know, being medically evacuated because you fell in the fire. Um, <laughs> so like a pretty broad range. Um, and her goal was to put them in order from the least bad to the most bad because then the group would have to try to um, match her ranking. So um, the, the group we started off with like three of them in place, like three of them, the, play, the ways that Jessica had ranked them. And when they were given like a new one, so say the new one is getting their cookie stolen, they had to determine, okay, is that the most worst? Is it between the first and second that they already knew between the second and third, or is it the least worst? Mm -hmm. um, and anyone that they got right would add to their list and also um, earn them um, money for the pot. So this went horribly um, <laughs> because Jessica's list was, for lack of a better word, ridiculous. <laughs> um, I think it made sense in, to her, um, mm -hmm. but to most people who would look at it, it did not really make any sort of sense. What do you think, Spencer? <clears throat> oh, oh, absolutely not that that assignment was screwed from the start like it, it essentially just turned into wild guessing like there there was not a discernible rhyme or reason to jessica's list mm -hmm. um even though jessica defends the death that was her honest list and how she would rank them and she was not sabotaging yeah. uh but just i don't know like, like by a crocodile was like it was like five, i think yeah it was like 14 15 it was definitely like lower third ish, uh -huh. like down there. And, <clears throat> and and like the number one one was just like fire making twist, like getting eliminated by a random fire break making twist, like that was the worst thing that could have happened to you on Survivor. Um, and I was like, I mean it's bad, but it wouldn't have been my worst thing. And then obviously like the yeah. mission point is that her cookies, like getting your cookies stolen was very high up. Yeah. Uh, so it's just, they were not going to succeed at that one. But the funny part there is we told Amanda ahead of time, you know, like you can see Jessica's list or not. It's probably not going to make that big of a difference. So she at first decided not to see the list and just like play it out because she knew it wasn't going to earn much money anyway. Then on the very first item, she happens to put it in the right spot and she's immediately like, no, fuck that. I need to see the list because I don't want them to earn money. She was so devastated at the fact that they got one right. What do you think? Oh yeah, that was really funny. She got one right and she was immediately like, give me the list. I need to get the rest wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Which happened. They did not mm -hmm. score a single <clears throat> other time in that assignment. So mm -hmm. great for the mole because it also made Jessica look even worse. Yeah. Yeah, which that was an interesting thing I wanted to mention that was good strategy on Dexter's part to try to get Victoria to suspect Jessica. Is that part of the rationale? Because Dexter, we had told Jess Dexter in his diary, like, we need someone who's the most opinion or has the best opinions. Mm -hmm. And he could have gone to the main chat and like shared with everyone, like the group discussed it, but he elected to make this an entirely individual decision. He did not discuss with anybody this choice. And so part of the rationale was that, well, Jessica has never been in a specialized role. Like um, himself, Amanda and Victoria have at least all had one assignment where they were kind of in more of a special role and Jessica never had. And then the other reason is that he correctly assumed that that would put Jessica in a position that receives more scrutiny and hopefully that would make Jessica look more suspicious to Victoria, mm -hmm. uh, which did ultimately pay off, <laughs> you know, get ahead of ourselves a little bit. Yeah, that was the good strategic move that Dexter had made. Mm -hmm. um, or one of the one of the good ones, rather. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's about it for that assignment because it was just so doomed from the get go. Yeah, it, it was funny to watch as the group just was like, always wrong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
So then uh, we moved on to the second assignment, which mm -hmm. was called uh, Interview Switcheroo, which is one that Spencer and I have like cautiously been looking forward to throughout the season, but also like curious to how the logistics would work out. But it's a very simple assignment and one that I like because you get to mess with the players a little bit. <laughs> So each of them scheduled a separate time uh, with uh, Spencer and I to do a semifinal interview, similar to what we did a couple of rounds ago, just to check in with them, hear their thoughts on who they think the mole is, their strategy moving forward, that sort of thing. Um, so we did that for about 10 minutes, but the um, players did not know that they should be paying attention for the assignment right then, um, because we then said we're going to switch to the assignment. Spencer and I turned off our cameras and our, muted ourselves for a minute. And we each changed three separate things about our appearance or about our surroundings. And then the players had to uh, name the three things that each of us um, had switched. And uh, any answer that they got right would earn money for the pop. Uh, the final part of that is that each player had to predict um, how many total answers correct they thought the group would give like, out of the possible 24. Um, and if a member of the team was the closest, then the amount of money for the assignment um, would be increased by $2,000. But if the mole was most successful with the prediction, the money they wanted to be cut in half. So Spencer, since I'm talking so much, would you mind going over the results for that? <laughs> um. Well, for Dexter went first, and Dexter did the best, surprisingly. Um, he had gotten three of the things that we switched, two of mine, and one of Jamie's. Which I was surprised how consistently bad people did at uh, mm -hmm. finding Jamie's uh, okay, changes. So one of mine was, um, for all the players, I changed my glasses. And like mm -hmm. you can see, these ones are clean, and the other ones I don't... I mean, are clear. Um, the ones that I uh, switched to are like dark green. Um, mm -hmm. Like that was the one consistent thing that I thought would be pretty easy. Um, mm -hmm. But no one got that actually. Yeah, which was very surprising. Mm -hmm. But whatever. So Dexter had gotten three correct. Uh, Jessica got one correct. And Victoria then got two correct. Mm -hmm. um, and then should we talk about our little situation with Amanda? Yeah. So with Amanda, we unfortunately had some scheduling things since she had just recently started a job up. So, you know, she's five hours. We're in Eastern Standard. She is five hours ahead um, in the UK. So, you know, we were trying to do this at like five o'clock our time, which would be around 10 her time uh, with her. And she ended up falling asleep because she's very tired from this new job that she just started. Mm -hmm. And we were like, oh, my God, we need to what are we going to do? Because we really wanted to like send the test out that day that we were doing yeah, it with Amanda. In, in general, that would be fine. Like if not a yeah. big deal, but um, we knew that Jessica was going on vacation for four days, um, you know, the next day. So like we needed to get the test out so that way we could do the semifinal execution and, you know, not put that off for a super long time for people. Mm -hmm. it, exactly. So then <laughs> that became a, a whole stress thing. We're like, you know, we're just going to stay up all night uh, until like 2 a.m. our time. So that would be like 7 a.m. because Amanda gets up early. So that way we can like talk to her and be like, <laughs> can we do this with you? And ultimately, we decided to do was just kind of be like, you know what? You can just pick your score because like logistically, like if we were to run it with the mole, like if the mole wants to get a zero, the mole just has to be like, you changed the wall the floor the couch the lava. yeah they could name literally anything um mm -hmm. it's very easy to get a low score so i don't necessarily consider it cheating by anything to let them all pick the score they want to get especially when they're yeah. going to pick two at most with a and with amanda like she mm -hmm. picked zero which is what she would have got if we actually ran it like she would oh i'm sure any money oh so, i'm sure like, literally like you just said that's how it would have worked we would have told her what the assignment was and she would have said the lava the rainbows and the unicorns or something mm -hmm. you know so she got a zero and that wasn't much different than the rest of the group i mean heck jessica got a one <laughs> um so it's not like that's that much of a difference but yeah once again that aggressive sabotaging no money <laughs> from amanda to the pot mm -hmm. um and then that led us into our quiz right Mm -hmm. There was one last thing that I was going to say about the assignment that I thought was particularly 
funny because like we we had like the group you know guess the total that they thought or each person guessed the total number of answers they thought the group would get and they all kept guessing very high which i thought was very surprising because you know mm -hmm. one of the four people taking it is the mole and at least in my mind would i if i were to like you know at least when if i were a player how i would like approach most assignments is like before the assignment would start i would make a theory in my, men, my mind and be like, how would I approach this assignment if I were the mole? And then I would look at what the other players did to see if they would match what I would anticipate the mole would do. Mm -hmm. And for me, at least for this assignment, I would be like, well, the easiest way to not earn money in this assignment is for the mole to get a low score, probably a zero or a one. Um, and so then to a further point, if it's like guessing for how much money you think the group, for how many total questions you think the group is going to get, I would then factor that zero, presumed zero or one in when making my actual guess. And like the group consistently guessed like 12, 13. And it's like, well, if one person's going to get a zero or one, you're expecting everyone else to get like threes and fours or fives correct, um, which is asking a lot. <laughs> When I would assume that most people would do poorly at it anyway, when I would assume a more realistic guess would probably be like anywhere from like five to eight, which I think the group mm -hmm. ended up getting like six correct. Um, but that was just kind of a funny thing to me mm -hmm. about it. And then just again, you know, Amanda ends with a zero and that doesn't draw anyone's suspicion because why would it? We trust her. Um, but yeah, now I think that brings us to the test. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, so the semifinal quiz, this is the one that Spencer and I take a lot of time in designing because we want to be super intentional about the structure of the quiz at the semifinal because there's something to be said for like ensuring that the players who make the final like earned it through their strategy as opposed to like answers just happen to overlapping um, without intending to put answers on the mole. So for this quiz, every multiple choice question had four answers, one that correlated to each player. And then for the statements, none of the statements overlapped with any other player. So if you're choosing a statement, it was applying to specifically one person. So you had to like purposely choose that person, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Um, the one caveat to that is we did include one statement just for the fun of it that applied to everyone uh, because it's still consistent, you know, like you mm -hmm. choose it or you don't. Um, which was the mole's eyes are blue, which is true because literally all the final four have blue eyes, uh, funny enough. Um, so looking at the quiz results, so one of the things that I noticed- Ooh, after, One thing I want to say real quick is that we did for this test, we switched the format where it is now a multiple choice section followed by a statement section. Mm -hmm. And for this test also, the minimum requirement of statements that had to be picked was one statement. So if we want to talk real quick about like the objective best strategy to take this test, mm -hmm. you answer multiple choice however you want to, but when you get to the statements, you pick one statement, you pick the mole has blue eyes and you pick nothing else and you're guaranteed to have at least a score of one on every single person. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So there's definitely a lot of strategy that comes in with this quiz. Um, mm -hmm. But in looking at the results, we did notice um, some interesting things. So uh, Dexter first um, put every question on Amanda, except for one. He did select one answer for Jessica, which he had talked about just very briefly in his interview or his diary, one or the other, about how you know it technically could be Jessica still, but he is like solidly on Amanda. So that's mm -hmm. interesting. You did purposely put one question on Jessica, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Jessica, on the other hand, put all of her questions on Dexter, um, except for one on Victoria and one on Amanda. And I, the one on Amanda was, I was an act, an act, not, I don't, it she, she like was a guess, was how I want to word this. It wasn't a fact that she knew going into the quiz, so she had to just pick an answer. Yes, yeah, so it was it was a very hard question that I had uh, written. It was like it was like how the number of messages the, the mole sent to the main group chat between a certain time frame, mm -hmm. um, which is a very hard question. And you know, unless you're Dexter and you want to go 
you know, 20 minutes over the time limit, you're not going to go back and check that in the middle of the test. So that's Jessica mm -hmm. ended up guessing, and she incidentally picked the correct answer on that one. Yes. So Victoria then put all of her questions on Jessica, except for she put one on Dexter, which is typically what she'll do. She'll usually go all on one person except for one statement or one question on someone else. Mm -hmm. um, that's what she did here. So in terms of scores, Dexter sailed through to the finals because he's obviously the only person on the right track of the mole. But the issue there is he, again, went way over the time limit, specifically going back to look up the answer to that one question. So because of that, he got a six point penalty um, because that's how far, like it took him six minutes to look up that answer over the mm -hmm. time. So luckily, you know, that didn't end up playing a role here just based on him being the only one who's right, but that could have been like extremely problematic for him under a different circumstance. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm curious if he knows that he's going over time so much, or if he has even read the blurb and knows that there is a quote unquote 10 minute time limit. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll be an interesting thing to find out in the finale. You know, I don't want to mention any of the interviews that we do. I don't want to mention it because like, I feel like I don't want him to, at this point, I don't want him to read into that being like, oh my God, I've gone over so much and I'm still here. Like, I don't want him to metagame it at all. I feel like that'd be a little unfair. So at the reunion, we can ask that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And then, so between Jessica and Victoria, it was very close. Um, so Spencer, what ended up happening there? What was the difference? Uh, there was a one point difference uh, in specific. Jessica hit, picked the statement, the mole has blue eyes, while Victoria did not pick pick that statement. However, uh, if Victoria picked that statement anyway, they both would have had a negative three on Amanda. But Jessica took the test significantly faster in basically half the time that Victoria took it. Like, mm -hmm. Jessica's was right about three minutes and Victoria's was a little bit over six minutes. So Victoria would have gone anyway, even if she had picked the blue eye statement. But, mm -hmm. but it would have been like down to time again. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so yeah, that gives us our finalists, which is interesting because, you know, we like we said at the beginning, Victoria was the one person who was kind of on the fence of who she might pick. So now our finalists, which I'm so happy for both of them because they're both amazing. So Dexter and Jessica are the two finalists this season. So happy for them. But, you know, at this point, I think it would take an absolute miracle for the um, for the conclusion to be different than what we're expecting. What do you think, Spencer? Oh, oh, yeah, it's, it, it's a little, uh, means not the right word, but you know, we could just not run the last round and just say Dexter's won. Like it, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's basically a, for, like, it's just a foregone conclusion, um, which is really unfortunate uh, for Jessica. I feel so bad for Jessica when we reveal that Dexter isn't the mole, mm -hmm. like, I, I, I'm gonna weep at the end because nice. I've been rooting for Jessica so hard. Jessica was a huge underdog, dark horse. We thought she was gonna get eliminated. She is here in the finals. She has consistently, like her test average up to this point, she has the second best average placement behind only Dexter. So, you know, I, it's yeah. not like, it's not I like she- to point out like De De Dexter and Jessica clearly based on quiz scores and averages are the top two players of the season. Mm -hmm. So it's yes. they are against each other in the mm -hmm. final two. And, and it's not like close compared to the other ones. Like everyone else was worse, very mm -hmm. clearly worse at the test than them. Um, and it's just like, it's just unfortunate that you know, she, she's gonna end up just being wrong. And I feel like that she'll probably like take a heavy hit to that. Like it's, cause it's a hard pill to swallow. It'd be like, oh my God, I was here and I was so wrong. When she very much did earn her spot in the end. Like she she crushed her way through a lot of the season. It was so much fun with her taking the, uh, during her diary, she would always make fun with being like, oh, I know you're gonna ask a quiz question on this or about this. Like she was really good at like getting in our heads as hosts and anticipating what we would ask. Um, and she's usually right. Yes, and she's usually right. Uh, and so, like, she she was for someone that we extremely uh, underestimated. That, yes, underestimated going into it. She has gone above and beyond expectations, and that is a I will go on record and saying an extremely good mole player. And it is just going to be very unfortunate to 
watch her be wrong and i hope she doesn't take it too hard herself because i will go to bat for jessica whenever she is absolutely great yeah jessica's crushed it this season Mm -hmm. this has been such a good cast you know when dexter wins you know (laughs) knock on anything i'm pretty sure that's going to happen like he's going to be a very deserving winner Mm -hmm. as well Mm -hmm. like he's worked very hard and clearly he really wants that he wants to win very much um and that can be said for a lot of the cast it's a very competitive but like kind spirited group but he's definitely i think a worthy winner this season Mm -hmm. um but yeah victoria yes i guess we can eulogize victoria yeah spencer your thoughts on victoria thoughts on silent shandy um I was I was crushed to see uh, Victoria go because I'm not gonna lie, a part of me was kind of hoping that she would figure out it was Amanda, and go to the end and like you know she could be like this last minute like oh my gosh is Victoria maybe gonna pull this out and that would made a really exciting thing. Not to say that it sucks now that we basically know that Dexter's gonna win, but you know it's always exciting if when we don't know what's gonna happen. A up in the air. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but Victoria has been great. I I think that she would be even better if now that she is much more familiar with the format and the game mm-hmm. itself. Um, she is going to be oddly enough like a huge figure. She is a huge figure in the season because for reasons that I have still not really figured out, she was one of the most suspected people among the group. At, Quite a few people got eliminated suspecting her as the mole. Um, and Brian, Dexter, and Victoria are really the three big suspects. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's just, I don't know, she was added a great energy. She wasn't the most talkative person, but she was always very present for the assignments. Uh, and just a, a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's tough to see her go, but I am glad. She's another one who I didn't necessarily know how far she would make it because of her lack of experience with this format and the show as a whole. So very happy to see her do well. Mm -hmm. I was especially happy to see her outlast Brian just so we could get the Victoria Mm -hmm. is shocked and unsure of who the mole is after going all in on Brian for like seven tests in a row. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that 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 was a good one. Yes, yeah, so that's where we're at in the game. You know, at this point, we only have one more assignment in the finale, um, which should be a fun one. We'll talk about that next time. And then the final quiz in the live reunion. So spoiler alert, moving forward, it has been a nightmare for us to try to figure out how to plan for the final two things, just because we have the most uh, disparate time zones that it was possible amongst the entire cast. So for instance, Jessica and Dexter, there's a nine hour time difference there. So by the time it's 5 p.m. for Jessica, it is 2 a.m. for Dexter. So Mm -hmm. that presents a roadblock, but we're working on it. And we should have our winner on our mole reveal and reunion coming up within the next week. Yeah, hopefully we can just finish this up. And by the end of the week, we'll be done with the season. Not to say like I super want to be done with this, but part of me wants to be done with it. Uh, Yeah, it's good to separate for a little bit. It'll be bittersweet. Sad that it's over. Yeah. But. Yeah. And I think one of our upcoming videos, if not our next one, is going to be like when we run through again and like uh, choose some of our favorite mole sabotages this season. So we'll like uh, condense that into one video. Mm-hmm. And we'll have to think if maybe we want to like record the reunion or not. We'll have to think on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure. I mean, probably not because that might end up being into, like a 10 hour video. We might like record segments of it. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Maybe like the reveal and people's reactions. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's all I got, Spencer. Do you have anything else? No, I think that's it. For... We made it a short video. Yeah, this one's probably going to be like 20-ish minutes. Under 30. It should be 30 or less, which I am very proud of. Cool. Uh, but okay, yeah, I guess we are signing off. Yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.